Bonjour et bienvenue à Learn French with Alexa. Today, folks, I would like to teach you how to conjugate a verb in the present tense. Now, this verb is acheter. Acheter. It's a very simple verb, but yet quite complex. Now, acheter means to buy, okay? Now, if you look at acheter in its infinitive form, it ends with er, which tells me it's a first group verb, which tells me It's a regular verb, which tells me it's a very easy verb to conjugate, as in it will come with the same endings. All verbs ending with er will always have the same endings. Okay? However, acheter is an exception. Well, it all has, it is still with the same endings, but acheter transforms itself when you conjugate it. Okay? And this is the reason why I have chosen the verb. Acheter. Have a look at that. Tell me where it changes. J'achète. I buy. J'achète. I buy. It also means I am buying. Okay? Now look. The infinitive is acheter. No accent. When you conjugate it with uh, the pronoun je, it becomes achète with an accent. And that's where the difference is. And that's what you've got to know. Most verb in ET, H-E-T, have double T, E, when you use JE, TU, IL, or L, when using JE, TU, IL, or L. Not H-E-T. H-E-T is an exception to the rules. There are very few amount of verbs like H-E-T. H-E-T is the most common one. And that's why I'm choosing H-E-T for you. To achète, same, with an accent. To achète. You are buying or you buy. Il achète. Elle achète. On achète. Okay, so he buys, she buys, we buy or one buys. Okay, the more informal we. Now look at nous. Now, nous is we. Nous achetons. Now, we are back to the acheter sound. Nous achetons. Achetons. We say nous achetons, by the way. But I would just wanted to make it clearer to you that the sound is the same as the infinitive verb, verb a form of the verb. Okay, so acheter. Nous achetons. No more accent here. Vous achetez. Okay. And then we are back to il and elle, the plural version of they. Okay, plural version of il and elle. Okay, as in they. Il achète, and we're back with the accent, the accent, elle achète. Okay? So have a look at that again. J'achète. Can you say that? Well done. Tu achètes. Il achète. Très bien. Elle achète. Bravo. On achète. Parfait. Nous achetons. The sound changes here. Vous achetez, okay? Changes again for nous and vous. Ils achètent. Elles achètent. Okay? So that, that's the reason why I've chosen acheter. So that you are aware that acheter in its infinitive is not the same when conjugated in the present tense, except for nous and vous. What I'd like you to do is have a look at it again before I give you an example of how to use the verb acheter in the present tense. Try to think of your own sentence. Try to think. It should be easy to come up with an example using to buy in the present tense, as in I buy some carrots from the shop. Okay? Here's my example. Well, examples actually, three. Nous achetons du pain pour le déjeuner. Nous achetons du pain pour le déjeuner. And you could add à la boulangerie. Okay? So, nous achetons, we know for a fact means we buy or we are buying. Remember, with the, in French, we don't have such a thing as uh, the continuous sentence. We are buying ing. That does not exist. You would translate we are buying as in we buy in French. Yeah? So, We're buying some bread for lunch. Déjeuner, lunch. À la boulangerie, at the bakery. Okay? Another example, it could be Il achète une paire de baskets au magasin de chaussures. 
Il achète, and here, because I know that when I use il, I transform acheter into et, achète, ok? So, il achète une paire de baskets, is buying a pair of trainers, and not baskets as in you carry. Trainers is basket au magasin, at the shop, magasin is shop, de chaussures, of shoes, so at the shoe shop. So, magasin de chaussures, okay? So, if you wanted to say toy shop, you would say the shop of toys. Magasin de jouets, okay? That's another lesson, by the way. Okay, here's another example. Tom et Rosie achètent une maison. Tom and Rosie buy a house, okay? Again, we are back to the achète with an accent because we are using Tom et Rosie. So if you transform Tom et Rosie into their subject pronouns, it would be they, okay? They are buying. And what is they in French? Well, it is either il or elle with an S. Which one are we choosing here? That's a good question. Now, because Tom is a boy and Rosie is a girl, should we go for il with an S or should we go for L with an S? Well, well, well. Grammatically speaking, the boy are, boys are always stronger. But that is grammatically speaking. We know that. All women out there know that. Okay. So, unfortunately for us women, the boy wins here. So, we say, il achète une maison. So, il achète une maison because it's plural. Okay, so that's my lesson on acheter today. I would like you to leave a comment right here. Okay, and why don't you give me a sentence using acheter? Don't forget to put the accent, especially if you're using je, tu, il, elle, on, or il and elle. Okay, not for nous, not for vous. That's it for me. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be kept updated by what I teach and what goes on in the studio here in London at Learn French with Alexa. That's it for me. Au revoir. See you soon. Bisous, bisous. <laughs> Why?